Hello there. God bless you. You are welcome to Prophetic Intercession with Amel. I'm always happy each time God entrusts me with a new prophetic message. I'm always excited because I know it's a word in season. It's going to minister to someone. It's going to put someone back on track, give you direction, give you clarity as to what is happening in your life and show you a way forward. So each time a word drops in my spirit, I am always excited. If this is the first time you're coming across this channel, a special welcome to you. I always like to acknowledge the people that are coming across us for the first time because I know it is a divine connection. I know that God is leading you here for something amazing, for something powerful. And I always pray that God helps you. Maybe this word might not be that word for you, but I always pray that God is going to um, put you in that place where the words that are coming, the subsequent words that are coming would be for you, that this channel will help to help you, your spiritual life, help you grow in the love of God, in the knowledge of God, in the things of God, and better your own life. That is always my prayer. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you for entrusting me with your life. Thank you for... Um, you know, believing in the voice of the Lord that I hear. Thank you for your support. God bless you. I am happy to have you as a, a member or a subscriber of this platform. God continually bless you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Hallelujah. Now, the Lord gave me this word for someone. It is a thing of honor. It is a rare privilege to be used of God. It is a rare privilege to, to be considered important to God. It is not everyone that God is going to give an assignment to. It is not everyone that God entrusts with an assignment, big or small. I have met people who just live their lives. There is nothing in their life that shows God is actually um, leading them or God is instructing them or God is telling them what to do. Actually, you see them going about their lives their own way, you know. And so it's a rare privilege to have God pick interest in your life, to have God assigned you to do something no matter what that thing is god might call you to a ministry of intercession all you have to do is intercede you might think that is you want a greater calling you want something major you want something big and that which god has given you is big enough you just have to maximize it you just have to pay attention to it and do it how god will want you to and when you, 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 the Bible says, if you're faithful with small things, God is going to add big things to you. So God starts by giving you little assignments. And when you fulfill them, he graduates you. As time goes on, you realize that your assignment begins to increase. Your responsibilities begin to double. Now, why am I saying all of this before even getting to the prophetic word? There are times where something, you know, something leads you to a place. God takes you to a place for an assignment. But there is a time when you feel so comfortable. You feel like, you know, you feel so complacent that you stop carrying out that assignment. Or you get into a place by miracle. You never knew you would be there. You get into a place as a result of the hand of God. And while you have been in that place for so long, the miracle stops being a miracle to you and becomes your everyday life. You lose touch with God. You lose touch of the blessing. And you can easily lose that which God has given to you. I know the story of someone where they traveled to a country, to a strange land. They knew nobody. And as a result of their connection to God and love for God, God connected them to this family. And it was a miracle because they were stranded.
God connected them to this family. They were so happy. They had that connection, and they they tried to to you know um contribute to run the house and everything. And it got to a particular point. They stopped. They started being so complacent. The miracle became their everyday life, and they stopped seeing it as a miracle. These people got angry with their behavior and had to put them out of the house. They were stranded again once more because they did not value the miracle. In the beginning, they were so happy they would do anything to stay in that house to make the people who live with them to feel comfortable. But as time went on, they lose touch of the fact that it was a miracle. They started feeling comfortable and they felt like those people owed them a favor and that is how they lost it the same thing happened to queen vashti vashti was made queen the bible says she was beautiful as a matter of fact the name vashti somehow means beauty she was made queen in order to you know to to parade her beauty that was the essence of her of her queenship and I mean, she was one of the highest, um, how did my father call it? I cannot remember, but, you know, one of the things that make, made the, queen, the king boast, like, the beauty of his wife. The Bible says that after the, 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 the king, uh, 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 Ahasuerus, prepared a feast, one-week feast, to celebrate his achievement, to celebrate his conquest, to celebrate his great kingdom. And on the last day, he, he sent for the eunuchs to call Vashti because he want, you know, when men are, 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 are proud of their wives, they want to showcase them, they want to, you know, display them before their friends so they, their friends are going to know that you don't joke, my wife is really beautiful and all of that. And so he called Vashti and Vashti refused to come perform his her role as the queen. She refused to come display the very reason why she was made queen. This got the king so angry. And Vashti lost that position. Because the king was so angry, she refused to do that which she was made queen to do. She refused to do it. Whenever God gives you an assignment, a day should never come when you feel like you already you are already established in this place. You don't need that assignment anymore. Because the Vashti kind of felt that the the Bible says why the king was there celebrating with his with his um king's men and all of that, Vashti was equally celebrating with the women. So she felt like she had gotten to a place where she was established, she was comfortable, she could do whatever she wants to do or, and defile the king. I don't know how this ministers to you. I don't know where God has taken you and how you feel about what, where God has taken you. Maybe you've gotten so comfortable that you think you don't need anymore. You don't need to follow the instructions of God anymore. You don't need. You are established in the level where you are. Remember. The God who placed you there can always take you down. Whenever God gives you a miracle, whenever God places you in a place by miracle, do not be complacent. Maybe you had a job by miracle. Do not be complacent. You got married to somebody by way of a miracle. Do not get complacent. You traveled abroad, you relocated, and God blessed you where you are. Do not be complacent. Always remember that God did for you. God placed you where you are. And you've got to give him that place. You've got to give him that reverence. Hallelujah. I pray that I was able to minister to you somehow. I pray that this word that God has released will be able to minister to you in a special way. I might not have mentioned your case, but I know that the word of God has the ability to be to be broken in thousand words. One word can be broken in th into thousand words and people will have different understanding based on their perspective where they are in life i pray that this word meets you in that point of need in the name of jesus amen god bless you